In this video, I'm going to talk about how to test the Enforcer plugin uh, in case you might want to do something like that. Actually, you know, test the logic of your uh, Enforcer annotations. So, as I've talked about uh, in other videos, uh, there are three specs, and let's take a look at those, um, particularly the setup of the specs. Now, in this particular one, what I usually do is I set up, you know, some users, some roles, and I set up the Spring Security Service to have a get user of just one of the test users that I want. Now, in this particular one, I'm testing the service, which actually doesn't need this, but in the annotation specs, because I broke these out, they used to be just one big unit test, but I broke them out into um, something that was a little bit more uh, manageable. Uh, basically, I set the Grails application config enforcer enabled to true. And what this does is it makes it so that when you uh, run your unit, this particular unit test, these annotations will actually be uh, used. Now, in um, regular unit tests, these will be ignored. Now, this only it only is at unit test time. Uh, in production, these these annotations will uh, this logic will always be run. It's just uh, in unit tests, I figured sometimes you don't want to test the you know annotation. You want to test you know the logic that's in your method. However, if you want to test the annotation, you can turn this on, and then you can test the annotation and see you know what it does. So you know it allows you to like kind of separate you know your tests out so that you can test the annotations and test your logic. But you don't have to test the annotation if you don't want. Uh, or if you want to test like you know the method in isolation you can do that. So that's pretty much uh, it for unit testing so I'll see you in the next video.